Hey guys, Joshua Haswell here from High Degree Fitness Personal Training. Today I want to talk to you about crunches and why they make you look fat. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Joshua Haswell here from High Degree Fitness Personal Training. I actually want to talk to you guys about crunching today. Got an email from a lovely girl named Kylie, and she's actually emailed in asking a question. She says, hi Josh, Kylie here. I was just wondering if you can help me. I'm 23 years old, and I desperately want to get rid of my stomach fat. I'll be doing crunches and sit-ups every day, but my stomach still looks the same. What should I do? Thanks, Kylie. XX. Um, we have to think of you know crunching as an actual exercise, you know, for most people that want to gain muscle or put on muscle or stack on lean muscle, you know, we do weighted exercises. So for example, if I want to get bigger arms here, I'll try and do obviously some a lot of bicep curls, a lot of a lot of exercises that really focus on that bicep. And when we focus on that bicep, what actually happens is that muscle grows. Now if that muscle is growing, it's getting bigger. It's also getting stronger, but the muscles are obviously getting bigger. Now this is the same, Kylie. This is exactly the same if we were doing ab work. So if we want to work our abs, we're going to be doing sit-ups, we're going to do crunches, we're going to be doing planks, we're going to be doing a lot of different exercises to help target that area. For most people, um, you know, you can do 500, 600 sit-ups a day. Um, but you're not gonna, those abs aren't going to show if you, haven't, if you don't lose your body fat. Number two is your diet. One other reason why you're not losing weight. Now, your diet is important, guys. You know, you know this. It's common sense. It's been drilled into you guys you know, ever since this new health movement's been kicking in. Um, don't drink too much orange juice or processed you know, juices because there's so much sugar. 41 grams of sugar in something like this. When you're having coffee and tea, don't add extra sugar in there. You don't need it. It's just a waste. Um, the reason why, guys, is when you you know digest you know carbohydrates, you know all these really high fatty foods and all these excess sugars, your body has got two things to do. It's got to use them as fuel, so you can power you through the day. Or if you're not, if you're sitting in a chair and you're not moving around, your body has to store this fat. And the easiest place to store this fat is around your stomach. Think about this. If I have a mobile phone and I want to use it. Every single day, I, I, I leave it on my body and I put it in my pocket. It's an easy, accessible place. I don't give my mobile phone to my partner and then every time I want to make a phone call, chase after it. I'm going to waste energy doing that. Your body doesn't want to waste energy. It wants to preserve energy. So your body will store fat around the stomach because it's the easiest place to store it. And my third tip, okay, third and final tip for today is exercise. There's no point doing exercise that's not going to get you huffy and puffy. If you go to the gym, if you're going for a run, you're going for a walk or doing anything, if you find it's easy, you haven't broken a sweat, you're not going to burn as many calories, you're not, going to, you're not going to get stronger if you haven't created that sweat, if it wasn't a struggle. So make sure when you're doing exercise, you're huffy puffy. <laughs> you're feeling like that, okay? Make sure you're getting some sweat on. And if, you, if you're not, push yourself harder. Get yourself a personal trainer. Get yourself an online personal trainer. Get someone that's going to give you the right type of exercises. And I'll show you guys some links in the actual video um, where you can actually get some of these online workouts and online routines and online personal training from us and my team as well. Okay, guys? Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you. Goodbye.